Kramer's rules to solve the simultaneous equation. Suppose we have a simultaneous equation in the form of a1x, a11x plus a12y plus a13z equals to f1, a21x plus a22y plus a23z equals to f2, and a31 plus a32y plus a33z equal to f3. In matrix form, we can write this equation as a coefficient of matrix a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33. Column matrix is x, y, z, that is the unknowns, uh, that is the variables, and the solution matrix is f1, f1, f2, f3. So any equation in mathematical form, we can write in the form of these three forms. And once we write in this form, we can convert into matrix form. Then you can apply the Kramer's rule. Suppose you want to find out the x. So x is the first col first element. So we can replace this first column using the solution matrix. So what we get is x is equals to f first column is replaced as f1, f2, f3. Remaining elements are same. Divided by determinant of this co matrix coefficient matrix that is the matrix A. Similarly, we can find out y and z also. Now since the y is the middle element, that is the second element, we will replace the second column. So in the matrix A, the column 1 is same, column 3 is same, column 2 is same as y, so it is replaced by f1, f2, f3, and the denominator is same as the determinant of matrix A. And if you wish to find out z, then z is the third element, so replace the third column with the solution matrix f1, f2, f3, rest elements are same denominator is same as the determinant of again matrix A. So in the to find the x, y, z, that is the first element, second element and third element, you replace the first column, second column, third column of the matrix A and denominator of all of them is same as the determinant of A. This is called as Kramer's rule. Consider a two mass system M1 and M2, f of t is acting on x of t. M1 is connected between the K and damper B and M2 is connected between damper B and the spin K2. Since the force is applied on X of T, so X of T will be greater than Y of T. So your first, el first element in the matrix is X of S and second is Y of S. So according to impedance method, the sum of impedance around X multiplied by X of S minus sum of impedance between X and Y multiplied by y of s and since the force is applied on x of s we have here Laplace transform of f of s. When we are writing the sum of impedance around x so we should consider x is connected to mass m and the mass m is connected to k1 and b. So you should consider all the elements around x it means that m1. So we have impedance of k1 is k, m1 is m1 s square, impedance of b is bs square bs multiplied by x of s. When we are considering the um, uh, element sum of impedance between x and y, there is only one element damper which is between x and y. Remember here m1 required one displacement and m2 required one displacement. So m1 and m2 are not between x and y, but b does require two displacement, one is x and one is y. So b is the common element to x and y. So this is uh, impedance of b is b of s, y of s is equals to f when we are writing the second term, it is a minus sum of impedance between x and y, which is same term as this, but this time multiplied by x of s, plus sum of impedance around y multiplied by y of s. Since there is no force acting on y of t, so this term is equals to 0. The first term is again between x and y, so this is a repetition of bs. But when we are considering the sum of impedance around y, so y is connected to m2, and m2 is connected by b and k2. So you have to consider the all elements about M2. So impedance of M2 is M2s square, impedance of B is Bs, and K2 is K2 Y of S. So this is equation number 1 and 2 we have found. Now we will write this equation in matrix form, then Kramer's rule, and we can find out the required transfer function. This information can be transferred as like this. This is M1s square Bs plus K1. Second term is minus Bs. First column is X of S, second is Y of S and the right hand side is f of s. Second equation, the first term is minus bs, second is bs square and 2s square plus k2, y of s, this should be equals to y of s, and the other term is equals to, so when we want to find out x of s, our x of s is the first term, 
so we will replace the column 1 here by f of s and 0 second column is same minus b s m 2 s square b s plus k 2 and the determinant of this matrix is as it is we can solve this the f of s multiplied by this other term is equals to c so we get f of s m 2 s square second term is 0 this one is m 1 s square b 1 s plus k 1 this is should be plus k 1 my uh, multiplied by m 2 s square plus b s plus k 2 and minus minus is plus and but again minus so it is b s whole square similarly if you want to solve for y of s y of s second column so second column is replaced by f of s 0 and first column will be as it is and denominator is always the determinant of this matrix if we solve this we will get the first term 0 second term is minus minus become plus so it is f of s into b of s denominator as it is here this f of s we can shift here so we can get f of s upon x of s so we have to cancel this term remaining is the transfer function similarly we can write for y of s upon f of s and this f of s will cancel out so we will get a transfer consider another example in which we want to find out y of s upon x of s it is a very simple system with a mass m connected by a damper b1 and b2 in this figure we are not given the force applied so let us assume that the force applied of x so x is greater than y since x of x is greater than y our first variable is x of s second is y of s and this equals to f of s though there is no need of this equation but I will write this second equation is x of s plus y of s is equals to 0 when we are writing x of s so we have the variable of 